The idea of the AI singularity is like a puzzle that many people have different pieces to. It's been a hot topic, with folks debating and guessing what it means. As we're on the edge of some super exciting tech progress, it's really important to take a deep dive into this topic. So in this video, we're going to unpack the AI singularity from all sides. We'll talk about what it is, where it stands now, the tricky ethical questions, and what the future might hold. Let's talk about the concept of singularity. You might have heard about it in the context of technology and artificial intelligence. This concept of singularity refers to something called the technological singularity. In simple terms, think of it this way. Let's imagine we got to a point in our future where the growth of technology continued to expand extremely fast. This could be in five years, 10 years, could even take longer, but people like to believe that when we get to this point, we could begin to see artificial intelligence and other computer systems develop and grow smarter on their own, to the point where they are developing so fast that they no longer need us humans. Sometimes people have that fear that if AI did take over, what would we do then? It's a big leap in technology, and we're not sure exactly when and what will happen. Now, historical and cultural references to singularity is interesting. People have talked about this idea for a long time. Some ancient cultures and science fiction stories have mentioned a time when things change so much that it's hard to predict what's next. It's a bit like when you're reading a story and you can't guess the ending because it's so unexpected. When we talk about singularity in the context of AI, we're looking at how artificial intelligence fits into this idea. AI is all about making computers do all the tough and dirty work for us. And some folks wonder if AI might help bring about this big technological leap we mentioned earlier. In addition to that, the role of Moore's law and exponential growth is about how quickly technology changes. Moore's law is a rule that says computers get twice as fast about every two years. This means technology grows exponentially, like a snowball rolling down a hill, getting bigger and faster. So the concept of singularity is all about this moment when technology, especially AI, might take an exponential leap forward. And it's something people have been thinking about for a while. Moore's law and exponential growth play a big part in how this could happen. The road to AI singularity. Currently, AI is making some impressive strides. First, we have advancements in machine learning. It's the backbone of AI, and it's getting smarter all the time. You might have noticed it with things like voice assistants and recommendation algorithms that suggest what to watch or buy based on your preferences. Then there's the magic of big data and AI. We're collecting massive amounts of data, and AI is helping us make sense of it. From healthcare to business, AI is helping us analyze data in ways that were once impossible. Now, when it comes to robotics and AI, things are getting pretty exciting. We have robots that can assist with surgeries, deliver packages, and even vacuum your house. These robots are powered by AI, making them more capable and useful. But it's not just AI making progress on its own. There's a convergence of technologies happening. Think of the concept of the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is all about connecting everyday objects to the Internet. Your fridge, your thermostat, and even your car can communicate with each other, thanks to AI. Quantum computing is another game changer. It's super powerful and can solve problems that would take traditional computers ages. AI and quantum computing together? That's like a dynamic duo for solving complex problems. And then there are brain-computer interfaces. These amazing devices let our brains communicate directly with computers. They have the potential to help people with disabilities, but they also raise some ethical questions about privacy and control. Speaking of ethics, we can't ignore the ethical dilemmas of AI. AI systems can sometimes show bias or make unfair decisions. Imagine if an AI system unfairly denied someone a job because of their background. That's a big concern. And governments are starting to think about regulating AI. They want to make sure AI is used responsibly and safely. It's a bit like having traffic rules for the digital world to prevent accidents and misuse. So as we journey towards the AI singularity, we're in a fascinating and sometimes challenging phase. AI is advancing, technologies are coming together, and we're having important conversations about how to make sure it all goes in the right direction. If you're liking this video so far, please leave a comment, smash that like button, and subscribe as it does help out the channel a lot. Thank you. Next, predictions and speculations. Experts have a lot to say about the AI singularity. They're like fortune tellers in the tech world, trying to predict what will happen. Ray Kurzweil is a famous futurist and inventor. He has some bold predictions about the AI singularity. He thinks that by the 2040s, we could have AI that's smarter than all humans combined. He believes this AI could help us solve big problems like climate change. However, others worry that such powerful AI might also bring risks, and we need to be cautious. Some experts believe that the AI singularity is a point in the future 
where AI becomes super intelligent and rapidly outpaces human abilities. The Technological Singularity Institute studies this idea. They suggest that when AI gets really smart, it might change everything, including the way we think and live. But this is still a controversial theory, and not everyone agrees it's going to happen. Now let's talk about timeframes. We're looking at short-term, medium-term, and long-term changes. In the short term, we might see things like better virtual assistants and autonomous self-driving cars continuing to improve. In the medium term, AI could accelerate the rise of robotics and automation, as well as make discoveries in science. In the long term, some people think AI will achieve human-level intelligence and create vast amounts of wealth. Now, these are just a few examples, but we wanted to give you an idea of what we have learned. As for how AI might affect society and the economy, there are different ideas here too. It could change the job market. Some jobs might disappear because AI can do them better, while new jobs in AI-related fields might open up. AI could also revolutionize healthcare, making diagnosis and treatment more accurate and efficient. National security is another concern. With super smart AI, there could be new risks, like cyber attacks and other security issues that we need to be ready for. Challenges and risks. When we talk about the future of technology, there are a bunch of challenges and risks we need to think about. First up, we need to consider existential risks, which refers to threats at a global scale. One big concern is super intelligent AI. Imagine a machine that's smarter than all of humanity combined. If it goes rogue, we've got a problem. Another existential risk is losing control over the tech we create. Once AI becomes super smart, how do we make sure it does what we want? That's not easy. Then there's value alignment. That's all about making sure the goals of AI match with what we humans want. If we mess that up, it could lead to big trouble. Now let's talk about ethics. When we teach AI, it can pick up biases from the data it learns from. This can lead to unfairness and discrimination. Plus there's the privacy and surveillance stuff. With all the tech around, our personal info can be accessed and used in ways we might not like. Security is a big deal too. Cybersecurity threats can lead to all sorts of problems. Hackers could wreak havoc, and if AI falls into the wrong hands, it can be weaponized. That's scary stuff. Then there's the social and economic side. Technology can change the job market and cause job displacement. Some jobs might disappear, and that's not great for the people who do them. And it can lead to economic inequality, where some folks benefit a lot and others don't. Preparing for the AI singularity involves several important steps to make sure that artificial intelligence benefits humanity and doesn't pose risks. First, there's a need for ethical frameworks. Ethical AI development means creating AI systems in a way that's morally right. We should make sure that AI respects human values, doesn't discriminate, and makes ethical decisions. Think of it as teaching AI to do the right thing, just like we teach good behavior to kids. Next, we have risk mitigation. This is about reducing the chances of things going wrong. We need robust control mechanisms, which are like safety nets for AI. They help us control AI and prevent it from making harmful decisions. Fail-safe protocols are like emergency breaks for AI systems. If AI starts doing something risky or harmful, these protocols can stop it from causing any trouble. Policy and regulation is another important aspect. These are like rules and laws for AI. At a national and international level, countries and organizations need to agree on how AI should be used and what it shouldn't do. This ensures that AI is used responsibly. AI ethics boards and commissions are groups of experts who make sure AI developers follow these rules and don't break them. Last but not the least, there's public awareness and education. It's important to teach the public about AI, what it can do, and what it can't do. We want people to understand AI better. Plus, we should encourage ethical AI use. That means promoting the idea of using AI for good, not for harmful purposes. In this mind-bending journey through the Singularity timeline, we've challenged conventional thinking and explored the unexpected. We hope you've gained valuable insights into the future of technology and AI. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our future explorations into the world of AI, science, and technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.